All right, let's say it for the final time for this series. Well, it, for the main story of this series. What's the channel, Skylife Gaming? Josh Pierce Games here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Darkness Let's Play. Today is possibly the finale episode. I don't know what happens after you defeat Primal Dialga, but that is what today's goal is. Defeat Primal Dialga. We are right here at the 10th floor. If you saw the last episode, I literally have gone... I've literally gone to the toilet and I'm now back and recording again. Literally, that is literally what's happened. Like five minutes have passed since the last recording. I think because I've had to go and calm myself down because this dungeon, these two last two dungeons have made me very, very angry and very, very annoyed. But right now I am calm. I am ready to go and we are ready to take down Primal Dialga. So let's proceed. Temporal Principle. Principle. This is... This is the top of the temple tower. Whoa, lightning! I don't like lightning. I'm a water type Pokemon. Look at the sky baking god. It's incredible. The red colors swirling. Whoa, it's happening again. The field, the tower feels like it's going to fall apart at any second. Let's move it, Bacon God. Hey, over there. What's this? It has a mystical air to it. There's a big circular pattern. Inside are indentations that look like they've been gorged out. I'm guessing that's where the time gears go. What is this? Wait a second. Those gorged out invitations. There are five of them. Five slots. That means five time gears. Shellshock. Huh? Five slots. Oh, that's it. If I put the time gears into those slots... We might be able to prevent time from stopping. Gotcha, I'll do it. Wow. Oh, it turned dark suddenly. Well, so it's you. You seek to dest you seek the destruction of Temple Tower. What? That's not true. We actually intend to save Temple Tower. We came to prevent this from stopping. Time. Stopping. Time. Grrr. Dialga, you look so somehow different from the last time we saw you. Grrr. You. You dare to run, uh, ruin this tower, bring ruin to this tower? No, you got it wrong. We actually intend to save this tower. We want to prevent the tower from falling apart. Silence. All of those who threaten Temple Tower. I will show no mercy. It's no use, Bacon God. He won't listen. Dyer losing control because time is breaking down. But this, this isn't like Primo Dialga in the future. He's not fully consumed by darkness. There's still chance we can be brought back to he can, Dialga be brought back to reason. There's still hope. Eh, hey, here he comes, Beacon God. And welcome to the final boss of the game. Welcome to Primal Dialga. Oh my god, I'm scared of this. Oh my god, I'm scared right now. But I have a violent seed. But first off, uh, what do I want to do? I want to set these. Okay. That's the first thing I want to do. Then I want to eat the violent seed.
And then I want to... You know what? Uh, there's a plane... I have a plane seed in my bag right now, and it's not really useful. You know what? I'm also going to give a weather band to Shellshock. And I have a plane seed in my bag that's not being used right now. I'm going to try and uh, throw it. Uh, yeah, I'm going to throw this plane seed right now. Throw. There we go. Oh, that did really good damage. Ow. Ow. Oh my god. Roar of Time does so much damage. And we'll be right back. Because I got destroyed again. God damn it. Right, finally, we are back. I got destroyed so many times trying to get back here. I am so happy I'm back here. And to tell you the truth, I am activating a old emulator thing that I have to do now. I am save stating. I didn't want to do this, but this game and the dungeons were previously here, and the fact that the alga can one-shot me for a time has made me say that I need to save state to make... Uh, to get back up here so I don't have to deal with the dungeon again because I hate that dungeon. I really do. I really hate the Temple Tower dungeon. It is so... It's like 10 floors of hell. And I don't want to go through it again. I don't want to go through it again. Please do not make me go through it again. I know it's cheating, but I can't stand it anymore. We're doing this. We are killing you tonight, Dialga. We have to stop him for the world, for the future. We have to kill this thing. I have to hope that this time goes better. I really do. Right, first things first. I am sending Ember. Um, you need to have all your moves back on. But dig would be so much more for priority right now since it's super effective. And get over here. Right. Now uh I got an idea. XI seed. I said dig. Dig is so much more of a priority right now. I do not need you doing all these other moves. Dig is such more of a priority since it is super effective. Uh, I need to start embering. And since my tree pad is not allowing me to ember, I need to find other ways to ember. Okay, you're no longer cross-eyed. That kind of helped. Not really. But we are doing so. Oh my god. See what I mean? I'm not taking this. F1. I'm not taking this. Every time. Every time. We come back. Yeah, every time that I die to this one fight, they stop me from having to explore that dungeon again. I'm safe staying. I don't care what you guys say. I have to get through this place. Stop using more time. Every time he uses raw time, it kills me. I can't take that much damage. It is literally 130 damage and I cannot take it. I cannot take that much damage right now. I would prefer if you didn't use raw time. I'd just prefer if you came here and stopped using... Right, you didn't kill me. That's a start. But you did put me into a situation where I can't heal myself. What do you mean Dialga can't move? And I got killed again. 
God damn it, what the hell is wrong with this Dialga? It, like, for certain times, it can't move. move. And I want it to come to me so I can do some damage to it. I don't want to get to go to it. I'm going to have to go to it, aren't I? I'm going to have to go to it. We're going to have to go to it. We're going to have to surround Dialga. Have we dead again? Yay! Stop using Roar of Time! It kills me! Like, the only... Is there really no other moves you can be using right now? I really would like to actually have this battle last more than 30 seconds. I really would. I would honestly like to have this battle last more than 30 seconds. Okay. The Alka can't move. Would you get up here already, please? Look, I'm dead now, but she used ancient power. But she wouldn't get up here. God damn it, Squirtle, get up here. Get to where I am. If you come with me, then I will fight. And then we can fight this thing. We can destroy this thing. Oh my god, I hate this enemy. Rage is literally what this episode is called right now. This is the worst finale ever. Thank you. Now we can start killing you. Uh, I want an Ember. Okay, that did a lot of damage. Thank you. Okay, now you're missing. Cool. Do you have like... I can't hit you! Do you have like two? Intimidator. You have like pressure. He has pressure and intimidator for the abilities. He has abilities. He has abilities. Literally. That's literally what I'm learning right now. He has abilities. He has abilities. He doesn't have one. He has two. He has two abilities. And it's really annoying. Please stop this. Uh, one more time and I'm dead. And apparently he has abilities uh, uh, where it, uh, I lose double PP because of the fact that he's normal pressure. Plus whatever primal Dialga's ability is, which has which has to be something to do with Intimidator. Because I can't hit Like when this happens, I can't hit you. That was a crit. Not even bad. Let me hit you. Dig him again. And I can hit you. And I missed. Great. F1 again! God damn it! Like, I cannot miss. This is not the time to be missing. I can hit this thing, I can destroy it, and it'll be amazing. I think all I have to do is dig it a few times. This dig seems to do a hell of a load of damage. Ember seems to do quite a bit of damage too. Ooh, it's just getting to him. And there's Roar of Time again. Um, ah, oh, oh, I see what Roar of Time does to you. It pauses. Oh my god, you got the stat boost. I'm going to have a reset counter on this episode right now. I'm going to literally put a reset counter on the episode. Uh, on the layout. Somewhere on the layout there's going to be a reset counter that is going to count how many times I've had to push the save state button to uh, get myself back to load the save state again. I'm going to have that on the layout somewhere because this is really annoying. Right. Thank you. Now let's kill you. Uh, or not. Okay, fine. We will not be killing you. I know you guys probably hate this right now. I know you think I'm one of the worst Let's Players in the world. I don't care. I literally don't care. This, uh, this Primal Dialga is going... Is making me insane. I love this game, but... I could go for take the bosses right now. Oh, 
Oh great, now we're both almost dead. Now we are dead. Stop using more of time. Make this a decent fight. I really want a decent fight against you here. I want an actual good fight where I got a chance at beating your ass. I can't take more of time. No one can take more of time. It's a, it's a dragon type move. If yeah, sure, it does leave you paused. But I can't take the hit afterwards. It leaves me with so little HP. If I can live at least one roar of time, I'm, I'm going to be in a situation where I'm literally trying to cringe because the fact is you've done so much damage to me that I can't live another attack from you. And if I could... And if he comes to me, it'd be so much easier. Come to me. Thank you. Okay. And... Um, oh, my God. I can't hit you. And I'm dead. I'm not dead. Cool. I mean, gas, but I can't... I can heal. Oh, so that's how much an orange berry does. I finally found out how much an orange berry does. It does 100 HP. Okay. Uh, no, no, I don't want to eat it. I don't want to eat it. I want to throw it. Okay, right. Ember. Oh my god, I hate Intimidator. I really do. I want to hit this thing with a super effective move. You're no longer cross-eyed. Right. Intimidator is one of the most annoying abilities ever. Ow. Oh my god, I killed it. Oh my god. Oh my god, I killed it. Oh my god, thank you, Shellshock. Oh my god, Primal Dialga. If you feel sorry for what I've had to go through for these past two episodes, please, for the love of God, type It's Okay Joe in the comment section down below. If you feel sorry for me, if you have a stink amount of any kind of respect left over for me right now, please write It's Okay Joe and I'll feel so much better. I will feel so much better if you write that. We, we did it. I know. I'm shocked too, Shell Shock. I'm shocked too. This is Joe's PH Games speaking, not, not a uh, bacon god right now. I'm shocked. We did it. I'm shocked too, Shell Shock. Okay, bacon god. It's time. Why the hell goes down? I'll put the time gears in. Wah. Wah. This. This quake is worse than before. Temple Tower, Temple Tower must be a nearing total collapse. We literally have seconds. If, if that was to happen, the destruction would be accelerated. That the planet, until the planet would be para fully paralyzed. Got to hurry. Ah, uh, got to hurry. Damn right you gotta hurry. Put those things in there right now. The floor's heavying. It's hard to put the time gears in place. I did it. They were all set. Is that gonna save us? Are we alive? Wow. UK? Shell shock? Why? The time gears are all set in place. Why isn't the quake stopping? This can't be. Oh, it, I was too late. Temple Tower will keep falling apart. It's too late. It's we ha to stop the planet's paralysis. We will be on the point of no return. Wow. Oh. 
Ugh. This is... Where? Shell shock. Ugh. Ah. Hey. Beacon god. Where? This is Temple Tower. Wah, wow, Dialga! You have no cause for alarm. I have regained my reason. Huh? Temple Tower has taken heavy damage, but it has survived. Now, observe. I'm guessing he's using Roar of Time. This is... The Alga must be showing us this. As to us, he must be using Telepathy to do so. So he has a third ability now? Stop having abilities, Dialga. This place. This is Tree Shout... This place? This is Tree Shout Forest. But it's different. When we were in Tree Shout Forest, time had stopped. This time... Time is moving again. This is Treasure Town. Or, oh, it's Treasure Town. Everyone looks happy. There's a polytoad for some reason. I've never seen a polytoad before. Seriously, I've never seen a polytoad in this game. It's Temple Tower. It looks pretty beaten up. But, it's still standing, somehow. I don't understand. Temple Tower didn't fall apart. I don't understand. It looks like it would literally fall apart. Even if someone was to flick it right now, it would fall apart. The slightest jolt would make Temple Tower fall apart. It survived somehow. Again, I'm still don't understand how. Temple Tower has survived the crisis. Time has returned to normal here. Thus, time has resumed in places where it had stopped. Because you stopped the ruin of Temple Tower, the planet's paralysis has been prevented. The world's peace has begun to be restored. Really? We did it, Bacon God. We finally did it. We brought peace to this world. Allow me to thank you. Also to say sorry for being so goddamn annoying. I thank you for reaching the Hidden Land. And you had the courage to stand up to me, even when I raged out of control and used temp a roar of time all over your asses. You prevented the ruin of Temple Tower in the nick of time. Thank you. This I owe to you. Dialga. But... It is not what it should be. It will take time. To re I must see to the repair of Temple Tower. The Hidden Land, too, has been raged, ravaged. The Rainbow Stone ship should still be optimable. And Lapras should be waiting your return. Okay. Let's go home, Bacon God. Back to Treasure Town. Yes, I would like to save my adventure. My god, I would love to save my adventure right now. I would love that. Thank you so much, game, for letting me save. I don't want to ever do that again. What's up, Beacon God? Uh, let's pick up the pace. My body... It feels heavy. What's wrong? Why am I struggling to move? It's like my legs are weighing me down. Maybe now that we change the future, 
My own disappearance is drawing near. Quake. It stopped shaking. Maybe things are still settling back to normal. It may take some time. Let's go, Baking God. Um, problem this, this light. All right, finally, time has, the time has finally arrived. My time with Sherlock, uh, Shock Shock, ends now. Eh, Bacon God. Huh? Bacon God, what is it? What's happening to you? There seems to be some kind of golden light shining above you. Sorry, Shellshock. I kept this to myself for a long time. It looks like... I have to say goodbye. Huh? Goodbye? What are you saying? Told... Dustnawa told me that if we change the future, the Pokemon of the future would disappear. Thus why? I am starting to disappear too. I am destined to disappear too. Huh? What? Why? Why? I don't understand. Thank you for everything. I'm going to disappear from here now. But Shellshock, I will never forget you. Wait a second. I managed to make it all this way because of you. Where we, uh, uh, with me, Bacon God. Don't you understand? You make me strong, Bacon God. If you go, Bacon God, I, I don't know what I would do. No, Shellshock. You have to stay strong. You have to live. You have to go home. Tell everyone what happened here. So that nothing like this ever happens again, and I'm not needed to become a Pokemon again. <laughs> Ugh. Beacon God. The light. The light is getting brighter. Don't. Beacon God. Don't. Don't go. Thank you for everything, Shellshock. I'm glad we could train. We got to train together at the guild. I'm glad we got to go on adventures together. I'm glad. I'm glad I'm, I'm glad I got to know you, Shellshock. Wait, Beacon God. I'm sorry. I'm so lucky I, that you were my friend. I feel the same, Beacon God. To me, Beacon God, you're m more important than anything. Yes, I feel the same way. Shell shock. Ever, even after I disappear from here, I will never forget you. Bacon God, Bacon God, Bacon God. I have to live. I have to get home alive. Go, get home. Tell everyone what's happened here. It's because it's Bacon God's, it's Bacon God's last wish. I will not let him die in vain. That's... There, there's the Rainbow Stone ship. Wow, this is terribly sad. Temple Tower is getting further and further away. And Bacon God. Bacon God is getting fu I'm getting further and further away from Bacon God. Oh, Bacon God. S 
And so, Bacon God and Shellshock finally succeeded them in their mission and saved the world from disaster. Shellshock departed from Temple Tower, travelled across the, ra the ravaged Hidden Land, and rode Lapras to the sea. Across the sea. He safely returned back to Treasure Town. Where he is met by fellow guild members. Lots of them. They were all very happy to see him arrive back. Including Wigglytuff. Upon reaching the guild, Shellshot told everyone about his adventure. And what happened at the Hidden Land. What took and what took place at Temple Tower. About Grovile and Baking God. Of course, Shellshock also spoke of how the destruction of time was stopped, how the and how the world was restored to peace. Shellshock told the story whenever and wherever possible, including to Politoed and Kangaskhan and Teddy Ursa and Swellow and Ursarink and lots of other Pokemon too. To as many Pokemon as possible, including Ladybird and Wor uh, and Wormpole and Jumeril and Marrow <laughs> and Spoink and Seedot and Pidgey. <laughs> it told. It was a story that he told. They had to tell. It was a story of hope for world peace. A story of hope for future peace. So months passed. Treasure Town returned to its cheerful routines. The scars from the planet's paralysis slowly healed, from the planet's injury slowly healed, and gradually returned to normal. Huh? Howdy, Show Shark. How's it going? Yep. I'm going out for a walk. Sounds nice, yep, yep. Uh, it'll soon be dinner time. You don't want to be late, though. Yep. I hear you. Not the time, police cars. Not the time to disturb me right now. Wow, this is beautiful. I haven't seen this far for uh, seen this for a long time. Um, it's just as beautiful as I remember. The crabby using bubble. I've been too busy to come and see it. I've missed this, this fantastic sight. When was the last time I saw this anyway? The last time was, oh, the last time I saw this was, it was when, it was when I met Bacon God. Wow, someone's collapsed on the sand. This is a flashback. What happened? Are you okay? The view was uh, like this, that back then too. That was when Bacon God and I, we began our adventure together. Would you like to join me to make an exploration team? I think we'd make a good exploration team, Bacon God. So how about it? Come on, please. Whoops, my stomach growled. 
Haha, your stomach growled too, Bacon God. I guess we both must be starving. We were so focused on rescuing Azoro that we didn't notice at all. But now I'm even hungrier. That's probably not a word, but it's true. Let's go to let's go and get dinner, Bacon God. I'm going to believe in you, Bacon God. Yes, I totally believe in you, Bacon God. It made me feel so great, so glad that I became an exploration team member. One day, we'll solve the secrets of my relic. I'm sure I'll solve the rel the secret of my relic fragments. That is my dream. If that dream was to ever come true, I'd surely faint from happiness. Ha 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 ha! Gwah. Look, scary stuff. But I have to be brave. I have to face up to this. There's no stopping it, Bacon God. Are you looking at this, Bacon God? It, this is so ma This is too magical. Eh. Hey. There's a break in the rope. Now, attack. Go. Go. Ah. Bacon God, thank you. You uh, were worried about me for being so down. There's no stopping. No stopping now, Bacon God. Bacon God, let's go and get. Let's go for it. Let's jump into the quicksand pits, Bacon God. Let's roll, Bacon God. We're off to SL Sleek. Bacon God. We have to. We have to get back. Back to our own world. Hey, Bacon God. We have to do this for Grovile. Uh, for Grovile's sake, let's go to Temple Tower. I remember it all so fondly. Those memories of my time with Bacon God. Memories of Bacon God. But now, Bacon God is gone. And Bacon God isn't here anymore. Well, that's kind of obvious since he's gone. But I'm not going to throw judgment in Shell Shock right now. Got what? Shell Shock. Uh, golly, Shell Shock. That golly, Shell Shock. You've been gone for so long. I took to worrying about you. What's the matter? It's hard to do an American accent right now. <laughs> oh. Ah, bidoof, bidoof. Wah. What's the matter, Yep Yep? Is it because of Bacon God, back golly? Wow, this is heartbreaking. Really heartbreaking. I'm really loving this storyline. I know I'm not speaking a lot, but oh my god. This has been one of the best Let's Plays I have done in my entire life. I have loved it so much. And we are finally at the credits. Oh my god. I have finally completed a Let's Play for Skyloft. I don't know why I decided to bring this to the channel. I was always going to Let's Play this game. I love Mystery Dungeon series. I played for Red and Blue Rescue Team. And then I had to play for the second ones in the series eventually. And I didn't realize it was going to be just a few months after I finished Blue Rescue Team. But it was done and I was so goddamn happy. This has been almost one year of an entire Let's Play. Hey, I mean, sure, I've been uploading once every week. But still, it has been an, an, almost an entire year of a Let's Play. Hey, 
I think we started this back in March. So, and now it's the end of December. So that's like eight, nine months, plus, uh, something like that. But it's really long, and I thank you guys so much for sticking with the Let's Play to its conclusion. If you are still here, I love each and every one of you. Uh, this project was absolutely amazing. I love the fact that we got together with a couple of friends and we made Skyloft Gaming and we made this channel uh, just something amazing. I love Skyloft and I will never stop recording for it. I mean, I plan my next LP after this series, but the fact is we are doing after game. So we're going to be doing after game. I cannot wait for it, honestly. Uh question of the day for today's episode as always with end of series on my channel and anyone else's channels basically the question of the day for the final episode is always for you guys to leave a review tell me what i need to improve on as a let's player tell me anything you want this is the free forum where you can say anything you want right now so say whatever tell me he, my, your problems with me tell me your problems with the let's play tell me anything you want because this game is awesome this game is amazing it's brought anger out of me it's brought emotion out of me i have loved each and every bit the, sh the story of shell shock and bacon god and being together it's just been so amazing Thank you to everyone at Game Freak and Nintendo and anyone that made the Pokemon Company and anyone who made this game. Thank you to everyone who's watched this LP. Thank you to my friends who helped me make Scarf Gaming together. Uh, Big Friv, uh, Buttery Butters, Beck, Baraki XY, Chibi Viri, uh, It's Me Nick and of course Bacon God Rex. So many great friends I have made from this channel and so many great people are part of this. Go and check them out. Their links to their own channels are in the description below. They upload to there more regularly than they upload to here at this moment in time. But that's okay. I will be personally back in the new year. From, I don't know when. I might take a week off. But I will be back and I will be doing the after game of this game. But for now, I thank you all for watching. Make sure, if you enjoyed, to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Go and check out all my friends' channels. They're in the description down below. They are some of the best friends in the world. And I thank you all so much for getting to today. Hey, but I'm going to take my leave. I'm Josh PH Games. Don't forget to answer today's question of the day, which of course is to leave a review and let me know your thoughts and opinions on the game and my LP, but until next time, I'm out. See you again. Although, looks like it might be more story. Because I literally just talked in, over the entire credits. There might be something here. Shell shock. When you left here. When you bid farewell to this place from the Rainbow Stone ship, your sorrow. I felt it, it, it. I felt its instant intensity even here. And if that's how you feel even now, if Bacon God were to share those feelings, I would grant. I will grant your wish. The world needs you both. This is why. This is. I will trust you with a gift. I will. I leave to you. For future. This is my thanks. Please accept it. Yay, Bacon Fod's back with Shell Shark. Yay. Everyone looks happy. End. Thank you so much for the, watching this LP for its entirety. If you've been here since episode one, I thank you so very much. I'm Josh PH Games, and I am out. See you again.